Hi, this is Mohammed from Global Techs, and in this video, we'll cover Udo Amazon Connector Part One, where we'll be showcasing you creating Amazon instance, creating Amazon marketplaces in Udo, marketplace configuration, workflow configuration, and showcasing the dashboard functionality of Udo. So let's begin. Here you can see we have uh, Udo version 10 installed and we have different modules available with us such as the discuss module the calendar sales inventory accounting amazon so let's initiate with the amazon functions where we'll start creating the amazon instance so to create the amazon instance you'll go into the amazon module and here you can see we have the dashboards available for different countries so we will be covering the dashboard part later on in this video only but let's start with the creating the instance so i will go into the configuration part and here we have the seller and in this we have already created one instance and you can just click on the create button and from here you can start creating the instance you need to checkbox the amazon part so all other information can be fulfilled so once you checkbox amazon you can put the account credentials where you can put the access key, secret key, merchant ID and domain. This information can be get from the Amazon uh, backend. Once you put all the information, you can click on list marketplaces. So whatever marketplaces you have created in Amazon, it will be showcased here in Odoo. After uh, listing the marketplace, you can click on the save button. So let me just discard this and let me showcase you with the existing instance which we have already created so here you can see we have already created the instance we have the name of the instance and then uh, we have other information such as the access key the secret key which we have already added the merchant id and the domain part so this information is compulsory to create the instance and let's start with uh, creating Amazon marketplaces in Udo. So after adding all the information as I said that you can click on the list marketplace button so all your marketplace will get list out in Udo. You can also check the marketplace from here or you can click in the configuration part to see the marketplaces. So these are the five marketplaces which we have already created. So let's go in one of the marketplace. Here you can see that we have all the marketplace information. So this we have marketplace ID, then the domain which is Italy, then the domain name, the country, the language, currency and the Amazon shop. So second part is the configuration part in the marketplace. So here you can see we have the products which we have set up like create new product if the product is not in the system while importing the order we have checkbox this let me just edit this okay i will just click on the edit button and now we can see more in the detail part so we have the shipment fee which we have configured the gift wrapping fee the promotion discount the shipment discount so next part is the stock configuration where you can just checkbox it if you want update on shop at time of Udo inventory change then uh, apart from that in stock configuration we have the warehouse part which you can select as per your requirement so right now we have only one my company you can create and edit other warehouse part we have the order configuration where you can add the prefix, the suffix, the default customer which will be guest customer. Then uh, we have the company price list and the order workflow based on Udo. This you can configure in Udo as per your requirement. So you can just click on the checkbox and you can select one of the order workflow. Uh, order workflow part we will be covering in this video only later on so you can create your own order workflow then apart from that we do have uh, other configuration which is the scheduler configuration you can auto import order import products auto import update of inventory auto update of order status and auto update price so based on your requirement what configuration you require you can just simply checkbox those functions and those duties will be performed in odoo 
so this was about the marketplace part which we have already covered the next part which we would be covering is the order workflow so we will start by creating our own order workflow based on Udo so let's go into Udo again so here you can see we are in order workflow and there is no order workflow right now created so let's create one order workflow so you can put the name of your order workflow then you can create your workflow configuration that whenever the order is placed in amazon what you want to do with that order in udo so either you want to validate that order or you want to complete the shipment in udo or you want to create the invoice or you want to uh, validate the invoice uh, in udo so these workflow configuration can be checkbox based on your requirement so you can checkbox it whatever workflow you want to create then we also have either you want to register for the payment or you want just the amazon workflow in udo so these are the workflow configuration which you can set then apart from that you can also add the sales policy configuration where you can add the invoicing policy so you can uh, select from the drop down what invoicing policy you want further to that you can also select the shipping policy this is actually in default only then the sales journal so based on your requirement you can select the workflow configuration and sale policy and you can create your own order workflow there can be single order workflow there can be multiple order workflow based on your requirements so let me just discard this and now we'll move to the next part which is the dashboard part and uh, the functions of dashboards in Odoo so here you can see we have uh, multiple marketplaces dashboards available so we have for France then another country we have for UK then we have for Germany so these are the dashboard available right now one UK store is very much active here so here you can see in dashboard you can import all your uh, functions and then you have update and export functions you can see all your orders pending orders completed orders and cancel orders from dashboard and you can perform the operations from the dashboard itself so basically apart from that you have the products to export and the invoices part also which is showcased on the dashboard so there can be multiple dashboards which can be manageable from odoo dashboard so this was all about the base part of odoo amazon connector for more information you can visit our website www.globaltext.com or email us on sales at thank you